This is Dart Rage Studio Demo. I'm using an optical touch screen. This is the HP Touch Smart. I can use my finger to paint with, to draw with. And as you can see, I run out of paint, so it starts to thin out, but it reloads every time I touch the screen. I'm not using any pressure. The optical sensors are sensing the position of my hand, of my finger. Um, so, but I like to use a natural brush, a real brush that you can buy in any art store or paint or hobby shop. And also I'm going to change this little cursor here because I prefer to use a precise cursor. So that since I'm using a brush, I get an even more natural effect. Okay, now I can change the size of the brush here and I pick my color here. So on the left pod we have all the tools that we've been using to paint and draw with and on the right pod on the bottom we have our color mixer and color selection uh, palette. So now as you can see some of the colors being picked up as I paint. Now also I can um, select real color blending here choose another color and the colors blend together now also we have three new tools that are here in, in this version which is the watercolor brush and each tool comes with their own settings and presets. So I can change this one so that I'm working on a dry with a dry brush and also I have a palette knife that I can use and that can smear the paint just like it would in real life also have a blur a blur knife and and a wet blur knife also we have airbrush tool also we have an airbrush And we also have layers just like that we would in Photoshop and Painter. And I have a big paint roller that I can use. And I'll just turn this layer off and make this layer invisible. Also, we have three watercolor brushes, one of the three new tools that we have. Also, we have the glue pen, which is another new tool in Art Rage. And we have different settings for that. And another new tool that we have is, is the ink tool. So let me get a new layer and make this layer invisible now I'll start on this layer with the ink pen tool so as you can see uh, I have some presets here which I want to use so let's take a look at these in depth so here's the large size billboard pen and here's a round and smooth pen and smooth inking and technical pen and a thick liner pen and a writing chisel now you may have noticed that on a couple of these pens that it it looked like it may have jumped, but actually was smoothing itself. 
Now in the settings, you can see there's that 100% smoothing and I can change these settings. I can change all of these settings to match how we naturally want to draw and paint with. And so you can really individualize this so that it can fit your drawing and painting style. Uh, now here's some of the other tools that are available. We have a crayon tool. Any chalk tool. And we can also erase. And also we can, we have a fill tool that we can use, but before we, so I can fill it with any color. So let's pick a color here and fill. So you can see that works very well. And also we can position the canvas in any way that we want. So let me bring up the canvas positioner. So here I can zoom in, zoom out and zoom in just by moving left to right. And I can move, actually move the canvas left to right. And also I can rotate the canvas. And also I can scale it back up with my fingers. And another cool thing uh, that I like about the program is that as I'm drawing, you can see that the two tools move out of the way and then reappear. So it alleviates the need of a second monitor if you don't want one. But it enables you to have a continuous working flow, so it's very natural. So you have to go and remove the palettes by yourself. They are smart enough to get out of the way.